The influence of birth order on personality development is definitely one of those concepts in psychology that can forever change your perception of people. It helps you to understand your own family dynamics and see the hidden aspects of others. When you think about it, so much of our development happens within our family units. According to Kevin Lehman, everything comes back to family, as there is no greater influence when you are growing up than your family. No other experiences compare to what goes on inside the home. Therefore, family life makes an incredible psychological imprint that affects a person's personality. The most intimate relationships in life are with your family, the one that you grew up with, as well as the one that you create. Interestingly, firstborns can be defined in three different ways. One being the first child in a family, two being the first child of that gender in a family, and three, a child whose next closest same-sex sibling is five or more years older. One fun fact is that 64%, that is 28 out of the 44 U.S. presidents, were firstborns or only children. Another fun fact is that the 23 first astronauts sent to space 21 of them were firstborns, and the other two were only children. So let's talk about the qualities of firstborn children. A firstborn tends to be perfectionistic, reliable, and conscientious. They are well-organized list makers and natural leaders. Firstborns are often serious, critical, scholarly, logical, and achievement-oriented. Oldest children tend to be black and white thinkers, they tend to dislike surprises, have a keen sense of right and wrong, and believe there is a right way to do things. The IQ of a firstborn child tends to be higher. The theory is that the oldest children benefited from receiving undivided parental attention before the arrival of other siblings. Additionally, the more responsibility they had growing up developed more brain power. At a subconscious level, oldest children tend to carry the weight of their parents' dreams in their pursuits. Firstborns are the test guinea pigs of their, at the time, inexperienced parents who, as a result, experienced more stress. A firstborn is often found in professions that take precision, strong powers of concentration, and dogged mental discipline. Research reflects Firstborns are more highly motivated to achieve than laterborns. They are prepared, organized, and ready to get things done. Oldest children set high goals for themselves and may have a strong need to be in charge. Alfred Adler characterized the firstborn by saying he or she likes the exercise of authority and exaggerates the importance of rules and laws. As for the second child, he will be inclined to believe there is no power in the world which cannot be overthrown. Just a quick note on only children. Only children are like super firstborns who tend to be little adults by the age of seven or eight. They are incredibly independent and mature beyond their years. Often books become their best friends and great resources they take advantage of. All right, so now let's try to understand the middle child. Some of the qualities you can notice in middle children are that they're often compromising, diplomatic, and avoid conflict, making them very skilled mediators, negotiators, and peacekeepers. They are independent, secretive, and unspoiled. Middle children develop opposite personalities of the sibling before them. Anytime a later-born child enters a family, his or her lifestyle is heavily influenced by his or her perception of the immediate older sibling. While firstborns typically have fewer friends, middle children often have many. A middle child is big on friendships. Middle children are unique, paradoxical, and very loyal. Of all birth order options, they are the most likely to be faithful marriage partners. Middle children can be inconsistent paradoxes. They are often easygoing, yet at other times very competitive, sometimes quiet and shy, but also very capable of being very outgoing and friendly. A middle child is usually laid back. 
though at times may be impatient or easily frustrated. Despite being an innate rebel, they are also the natural peacemakers in their families. According to Dr. Kevin Lehman, you can think of contradictions for the middle children. Now, let's try to understand the last born. Quote, from the time they are old enough to start figuring things out, last borns are acutely aware that they are the youngest, smallest, weakest, and least equipped to compete in life. End quote. So some qualities of the last born children are that they're charming, tenacious, and manipulative. Last borns are social, outgoing, and know no strangers. For them, life's a party and they're most likely to get away with murder, but least likely to get punished. The youngest in a family tends to be uncomplicated, humorous, and spontaneous. They often retain their endearing nickname and are very affectionate individuals. Lastborns are people pleasers, attention seekers, and natural salesmen and saleswomen. Maturing at an advanced pace, the youngest children tend to be high on people skills and very perceptive. Often, laterborns are taught by their siblings for many things instead of by their parents. Mom and dad were less joyed by their accomplishments and quote unquote taught out possibly. As a result, a lastborn is a total sucker for praise and encouragement. However, the downsides of the babies of the family include a habit of blaming others, rebelling, and acting before thinking. Sometimes a last born can be bold enough to do things that honestly would make other people cringe at the mere thought of. The youngest child lives with a certain acceptance of constant ambivalence. Quote, last borns are on a seesaw of emotions and experiences that they feel hard to explain or understand. End quote. However, one of the best traits of lastborns is their persistence. When really committed to a goal, they harness their I'll show them attitude and stick to accomplishing what they set out to do regardless of how long it takes or how difficult the task may be. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, I remember learning about this in college and just thinking it was like absolutely mind-blowing. Whenever I would meet a new person, I always ask them, do you have siblings? Just because once you start to see these patterns, you can't look at people the same. So I hope you enjoyed this. Can you let me know in the comments below? Are you a firstborn? Are you a lastborn? Do you see these traits in your family? Do you see these traits in yourself or your friends? Um, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll catch you next time. Please take care.